Hi everybody, I'm back again with another video. Uh, something a little bit different if you're watching this on my Liking of the Underground channel. Um, or if you're watching it on the Darren Baker channel, it uh, won't be anything new. So say this video will be posted on both those channels, uh, so depending on which channel you're watching, um, I'll put a link to the other channel in the description below. Um, the Darren Baker channel, for those of you who are watching on the Liking of the Underworld channel, is going to be, uh, it's all board games and things like that. And if you're watching this on the Darren Baker channel, the Liking of the Underworld channel is all Hot Toys figures, mainly. Uh, so that's got that bit out of the way. Um, these are all figures for the game Zombicide. There are three boxes, well four boxes of zombies. Uh, and two boxes of dogs that are used in the game. I've had these sent off to Ireland and posted by a guy called Jay Zellis, who's done all of my Zombicide miniatures. I will put his email in the description below, so if you want to get your figures done, or any figures for any of your board games painted up, uh, drop him a line and he'll give you a quote and he'll be more than happy to do them for you. So what have we got? Uh, we've got The Walk of the Dead 2, which are the newer sculpts from the Season 2 of the game Zombicide. We've got the Toxic Crowd, which are the Toxic Zombies from Toxic City Mall. We've got Angry Zombies, which are the Berserker Zombies from Prison Outbreak. Uh, we've got another box, um, which I haven't got here on show because it's just a brown box. They were extra sculpts for people who backed the game on Kickstarter. Then we've got the Zombie Dogs and the Dog Companions. So I'm not going to um, show you every single individual miniature, because uh, you'll soon get bored of it. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll show you a few from each. Uh, we'll start off with the Walk of the Dead 2, which is this little batch here. Uh, these three boxes of extra zombies come with um, exclusive sculpts as well, and I'll show you those in a sec. Uh, but you've got sets of walkers. Hopefully it will focus. Uh, this is about the fourth time I've tried this video. It kept going in and out of focus all the time. Um, I've decided to stick with Jay uh, for doing all of my zombie side miniatures. Um, mainly because he's very good at what he does. But you get the same sort of look throughout all the figures. Um, so none of them will look out of place on the board. Which I think is very important. If you start mixing and matching different painters, um, it's, it's not going to look good. You're going to get a lot of them looking out of place. So they're the three types of normal walkers that come with this box. You've also got some runners. Uh, it's a female runner. Uh, not the best sculpt. I don't like this sculpt. Uh, it's probably the worst one out of all the ones that um, Cool Mina have not have done. And then you've got the male runner. So they're all virtually different sort of paint jobs on each of these figures. Now we come to the exclusive sculpts for the Walk of the Dead 2 box. This is the Fatty. Uh, you do get female fatties with the Season 2, but this one's just a slightly different sculpt. And you've got this new sculpt, Walker. And finally, this new sculpt of Walker. Moving on to the Toxic Crowd, very distinguishable by their green colour. Again, three exclusive sculpts here. Um, this is the normal sculpt, this is one of the walkers. If you do get a bit confused when you're playing the game, all you have to do is turn them upside down and you can see that the base is green, so you know it's a Toxic Walker, uh, Toxic Zombie, should I say. 
it's a female walker. Um, if you want to know how to play these games, um, check back on my instruction video. Um, I do make a few mistakes, but you get a gist of how the game is played. It's another normal walker. And you got this one, another female. Maybe a, a hooker. Don't know. Um, you also get this fatty. This is the normal sculpt fatty. Let me move on to some runners. And the last one of the standard sculpts. Now we come on to the exclusives. There's exclusive fatty sculpt. Very similar to the um, original sculpt, it's just facing the other way basically. And his arms are a little bit more elevated. He's got a bottle in his hand. And then the exclusive walker. And the final one, it's a female, obviously, because it's got tits. Moving swiftly on to the angry zombies, which are the berserkers. I'm not going to go through all these. Uh, the ones at the back here are the normal sculpts. You've got the runners, th two sets of runners there. Got the walkers now. The way he's painted these ones, uh, he's painted them up like prison guards. Some female walkers and some male walkers. Uh, here's the exclusive sculpts. We've got the fatties. Got a female walker. And a male walker. Moving on to the Kickstarter um, exclusives. These are the ones that the backers all did. Um, they're all exclusive um, sculpts, near enough. Well, much, some of them are. Um, the walkers at the back, they're exclusive sculpts. The runners are normal. Um, you get a mixture of normal zombies, toxic and berserkers. So it's all this lot here on the back. Plus you get three abominations. So you've got three extra abominations. That's the normal abomination. These are the guys you don't want to meet. Very impressive figures though. Here's the Toxic Abomination. And the Berserker Abomination. Moving on to the Zombie Dogs. You get 20 of these. Four different sculpts. show you a couple. Uh, these are like the, uh, I suppose you could say it's like an Alsatian. Pit bull type, bull terrier type dog.
That's more like a pit bull, I think. Shame they didn't have a pair of bollocks hanging down the bottom, but never mind. And then you've got this other type. I'm oh, not very good on types of dog. So I'll give you a better look around all of them, because that was a bit quick there. You can see they're all different. Which is what I I asked him to do for me. If he could do as many different as he could, he's quite happy to do that for you. Now we have the dog companions. These are the good guys, and they're all all six are different, and they do have names. Um, the cards I've got here are in Spanish. You got Martins, which is uh, this one. So I'll try and show you it with the card. I do have the English cards, but they're um, in the box. I just um, left these cards in the pack so Jay could see what sort of colour to paint them. So there's Martins. Then we have Bismuth. We have Moog, which is this guy here. Some of these dogs can take out fatties. I think I believe it's this one. Then we have Gaspard. To use these in the game, um, you can either assign them to one of your survivors from the start, or you can put them in the equipment deck, so when you search buildings, one of them will come up. Here we have Lucian. And finally, Cherry. Can't wait to try these out in the game. Um, I will do a game playthrough which I will post on the Darren Baker channel. Um, so keep checking back for that and I'll do a game play with the dogs. So there you go, that's my newest collection of zombie side miniatures. Um, I've just got the survivors, some of the survivors now, to be sent off to be painted. And I've got more on the way, more survivors to come through the Kickstarter. Um, some countries have already got them. Um, here in the UK we haven't received them yet, but they should be here within the next month or two. And they will also be sent off and posted. So there you go, just a quick look at my new set of zombies and dogs. So until my next video, I'm not sure what it's going to be on the Darren Baker channel, but on Liking of the Underworld channel, it will be um, probably Agent Phil Colson Hot Toys figure. So if you're watching this on the Darren Baker channel, Go over there and check that out. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.